The unit! What do you think? It's amazing. Got the Ryan ends up now. Stairs to the viewing area. Come on. Another area. It could be the staff I room. I think we'll get the M3 in this corner, and like from that post along where the seat is there, yeah. we'll have a car area. And then truck. Four series. Four series and the R series. R series. Also, we've had this put in, so we can drive trucks up right up to here. And we can then work on the roof. Get on the roof, clean the roof, put beacons. No. Change the beacons. Yes, to orange. orange. Yes, that, definitely that. So, we're going to get some cool. floor tiles down here, some lines. All of my memorabilia is going to be coming here. Yeah, this is my office. This is where you'll be working. TTHQ. TTHQ, 12 hours a day, seven days a week, you'll be here. Packing merch, things. I was just going to do mornings, I thought. Oh, Do you not hear what I just said? Yeah, mornings. This is where the post comes. Bills from Scania, Transtech. They go in there and then lock it and go, throw away the key. Hmm. This is where I'll be preparing Tim's food. Come on, himself. Oh, excuse oh, me. Way up. Back. Need a fridge as well. Yeah. Put that on the list. We have toilet roll. I need cleaning products as well. Yeah, we need to keep it nice and tidy. And a hoover. The pictures are there. Let's get moved in then, Tim. Okay. It's not going to stay there, is it? Come on, Jeff. Hmm. That's my tools. Shout out to Wright's Tools. Hmm. I'm in. You need your key. If you'd work your foot over the top. Now what have you done to it? The what fat? Ha! Oh. First job in the new unit. Sort me tools back out from transport. Do you know what that is? Ratchet. Many hours I'll be in here and all you'll hear is... <laughs> Neighbours. What we'll do, we'll get the toolbox sorted out. Yeah. And then we... And then... We'll come home. Yeah. And another day we'll get the 4 Series in and I'll start on it. Plan. Plenty of space for it. You can do that next week. I might bring the Ranger in in a minute. Why? Just because we can. Cool. Guess where we need to go. IKEA! Four series is getting done. This is what we needed. I think you're going to need more than just these tools, aren't you, for the four series? Yeah, car there. M3 here. Yeah. We need a brush as well. Flip. So brush up. Eleven pounds. Perfect. Perfect yeah. for my unit. That. It fell in. We're not having that. We don't need that. It's for the house. No, this isn't house shopping. This is unit shopping. Don't take it out. And it's not a house. It's a unit. A big bin, don't I? Well, it's quite a big bin. Watch my palm. We've got a good trolley though, don't we? It's not my kind of shopping. We've been shopping. Well, these are from the cupboard at home. And I got this for the bathroom. Oh, I think it needs a shelf. Oh, we're not doing that. Yeah. Wait, just put it down there in the corner. No, because that's where I'm going to put the toilet up. What are you doing? So we're slowly starting to get a few bits up on the walls now. First thing I'll put up is this going style banner and this poster I got from JJ from going style. We're going to be doing some stuff with them guys as well, which is pretty exciting. I've got this up here, HGV learner thing. And we come down here, we've got this up. William from the Show Truck channel, absolutely love that photo. But I managed to get the Scania flag up that I got from Barry at Ashen. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in my unit. 
Cheers, Barry. There it is. It's up in the unit. But now we need to go because we're heading up to Scotland. We've got to pick up a brand new DAF Asset Alliance that has been customised to the max. It's 3 a.m. We are now in the Ranger heading over to Asset Alliance in Wolverhampton to drop my car off, get in a van, and then drive the van up to Scotland to get this DAF and then drive the DAF back to Wolverhampton, get back in the Ranger so we can go home. The car parked outside the gates. I've got a code for this, but what's this man doing here? What is he doing? Now I'm gonna let this man in. I don't know if he's supposed to be coming in. Here's my van. Well, <laughs> yep, that's come off already. So we've now got to go from here all the way up to near Glasgow. Four hours, 20 minutes, 262 miles. Whoa, we've got beacons. Is this van gonna get me to Scotland? Oh my word. Oh yeah. Check this out. Twin tag. Good morning. That is one amazing view. We're literally going into the hills. And here we are again, back in Scotland. The last couple of weeks I've been the Scotland Express. I've never been so excited to drive a DAF, but you'll see why I'm excited about driving it when we get there. There's the V8. That's nice as well. So the DAF is on its way here from DAF. It's just had a PMI. And, and while we wait, we're gonna take out the Scania 650S V8 twin tag. Extra long wheelbase. This is nice. Let's take this for a ride, see what this is like. Oh, it smells nice in here. Let's start up the 650. Oh, yeah. The first thing I always do when I get in the truck, get rid of that air. Get your seat down on the floor, boy. Wide height. We better put the suspension up. We don't want to be grounding out. Oh yeah, new gen. This jar is really nice. 650. Woo Just casually driving a 650 SV8 around Scotland on a Wednesday morning. Yes, you do. We like them. You cannot beat front air suspension. We better take it back. Either with or without a bonnet. I want a new gen. That's next, that's coming, come on. Oh, hello. We're driving this all the way from Scotland back to Wolverhampton. It has had the absolute full works. It's a twin tag, hub reduction. It's had all the side skirts and infills. Same A-frame as mine, but I haven't got these. I think I need these in mind. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. She's on full air. We open up this side locker. Speakers, same as mine. But if we come around this side, it's got speakers in the driver's side as well. Uh oh, broke it already. They've gone for a full Dutch bumper, rear infill, pride in our efforts, passion for success, promises delivered. And they promised me I could drive this back down from Scotland to Wolverhampton, and they have, well, they've delivered. It's got the cameras, so this is gonna be interesting. Got the 360 one here, so you can see all the way around the front and down the side. Laser lights in the grill there. And one massive one there. Apparently that's the brightest one they do. So we'll be giving that plenty of flashes on the way back. The exhaust. No soot in there. Get ourselves comfortable for the long journey back. The first thing I'm gonna do, put the suspension up so we don't hit that splitter. We don't wanna be hitting this one. So we've got the camera mirrors. We're gonna see how we get on with these on the way back. We have plenty of time 
to become accustomed to them. We've got about a five hour drive back, so that means we've got to stop for a 45 minute break. So we'll be able to try out the big bed as well that you get in the XG Plus. Very excited for this. It's only done 20 kilometers. That means that I'm taking it on its longest journey. Ready to drive. Here we go. See how we get on with these cameras. We are driving an XG Plus. I've been up since half two this morning. It is now 10 o'clock. Oh, I've done my first kilometer. You can hear a bit of wind noise already. Oh, flipping hell. The toolbox has come open. T French. Yep. Was it a good start, is it? Oh dear. You really have to slam them. The steering wheel back down. That's a bit awkward, this thing. It's not like the Scania. Scania is air operated. Lane departure warning system malfunction keeps popping up. I think it's because that visor. It's weird relying on a camera to pull out. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of looking in a screen. You have to put your trust in a screen, not a mirror. It's odd. Oh, what, you mean I've got iPads for wing mirrors and I can't zoom in? How good is it? Woo! <laughs> hey, good lad! This is what I love, adaptive cruise control when you're in roadworks or on single carriageway roads. Okay, my feet off the pedals like this and I will keep this distance from that van in front. So if he speeds up, I'll speed up. If he slows down, I'll slow down. And all we have to do is steer. You'd have to keep slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up. It just does it for you. Do like adaptive cruise control. I'm gonna try Junction 38 truck stop in a mile and a half. It is quite a nice area, so we'll stop here. How have I just come off the motorway and I've just gone over a cow grid down the slip road? I suppose they want cattle on the M6. HGVs. Two hours free. It's as far down as they go. Oh. How are you? Well, yeah, good, thanks. <laughs> Should we park up here with the Goodyear lads? We'll stop here and obviously dump out all of the air. She does look nice sitting there with the air out. I think it's time to try out this bed because it does all sorts of different functions. Look, you can move the middle up like this. You can shape it to however you want it. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a lovely little power nap. We've had 46 minutes. Let's get cracking back down the M6. And put the suspension back up. Never forget suspension up. That could end in disaster. Into drive, handbrake disengaged. Check all of my cameras for pedestrians. Good years off at the same time as us. Oh, we need this to get out. Uh, reach in and open the gate. Perth, north, south. Oh, they're going north. See you, mate. He gave me some tones. So then, get in the comments. Who remembers when I first started this YouTube channel, we worked at Data Shredders, and we had one of these trailers. It was exactly the same as that, an X Knowles one. It looked just like that. Oh, how times have changed. Oh dear, what's happened? Let's have a good rubber neck. Uh, Oh, kiss could say they've dragged that out of the way. Right, let's go. I'm going to have to tell them about this wind noise. I can stop it, look. Door's not like sealing properly up there. We are back at Asset Alliance's yard. Where we dropped my car off and got in the van this morning. I like the daft, it's comfortable, quiet, but it's it's not got the character of my Scania. I was still a Scania man. 
but this this does look nice so this looks really nice another good thing with these tag axles you can turn them on a sixpence there we go <gasps> speed bump speed bump speed bump speed bump this staff here is the one we drove last time we done a job for Asset Alliance. And we called it AM Commercials and had a look at a T cab. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the card here. So, this is a trailer we will be taking on Friday to convoy in the park. Well, that video is coming. What they're doing now is just filling up the generators with diesel so we've got enough power for the weekend. There we go, safely delivered by Trucker Tim back to Wolverhampton. No splitter damage. Look at that. What a bit of kit. So, this will be parked up next to my lorry at convoy in the park and the Asset Alliance trailer, which I'm taking. That's all gonna be in an upcoming video, but for now, I'm gonna get heading home, because I am done. Darren! Cats. Mm. I'll shoot them. No, 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 can't do that. A different fifth wheel. A bit clean of fifth wheel. Well, that's brand new. I won't keep you any longer. I just wanted to let you know there's more stuff to paint. It needs a good wash, Tim. Oh, yeah, I'm on it. I've got some ideas with some wing tops. Okay. What are we doing here? I had a good idea, I think. Put all the ribs out. One, two, three, four, five ribs on each wing. Yes. Get rid. Bond on there. Uh, something. something. Fiberglass and fill. Ooh. And I could have smooth black wing tops with no ribs, just completely smooth black. Never been done before, I don't think. Ever. Ever. Very nice. What about all them wing tops that I spent all my time striping out. Um, but if you can teach me how to do fiberglass and filling, I'll have a go myself. I can do that. Because I'll be doing that sort of thing in my unit, you see? Yeah. Right, I'll be going to see my transport manager. <laughs> The daff was nice, but you'll never beat a Scania. Electric powered. Oh, has he run out of battery? Rouse Transport. Now, this is where it all started for me. This is my first proper trucking job here. And now this is where my transport manager is. Welcome to the YouTube channel, George. Thank you. This is my transport manager. Very official. I've got some oh, things yeah. I want to show you. Just so you know I'm being like a responsible operator. When are you giving me another load of radishes? Well, you stitched up that last time. Oh dear. Download error. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Infringement overload. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Serious fine incoming, I think. Oh, here we go. We've got to be compliant, haven't we, George? We oh, yeah. are. Good repute. Good repute and all that. Right, I'll take that four hours. George, I've had a new fifth wheel. Because you, you don't want the trailers falling off, do we? No, but if you just sprayed it blue. Oh, well, I'll get round to that. that really show red. And in here, look at that. Brand new torsion bar and stanchions. Look at that. Because there's a bit of play there, so I thought, no expense spared. We've got to be, you know, professional. professional. Yeah, so you're happy. Why is it so black? <laughs> mm. Don't know. Mm. Yeah. The... Don't know, really. I wouldn't be worried about that. I'd hazard a guess to say it comes from there. Can rev it for you now. No, thank you. You don't watch my videos, do you? <laughs> That's some good stuff. Wow, that is some good snow foam. They have got all of the gear for the job. So we've got steps here now, so we can climb up here with our bucket and we can clean all the way up here. They've got everything you need for a proper wash down here. Rouse Transport have won a lot of shows. Oh, so you have won a truck show once or twice then. There is a show winning truck turning back up to the yard. What do you think then, show winner? No, thank you, usually. We don't want any shippers on this. I think he could do a week's worth of tipper work. No. 
I might for that. Put me up to that fridge again. Good content. I like radishes. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a few more trophies. My collection. Oh, so you have won a truck show once or twice then? Maybe a couple of times. <laughs> What's your this convoy one? one? What's this one? Best scan your working truck. Did what? you do too much work in there? That was from factory was straight, it to straight show. Ah. Uh, some journey, I bet that though. caused some, uh... Yes. Yeah. There was a few upset truckers. What's this big one here? Truck Fest original. What's that one? Best in show. Really? Oh, casual. <laughs> casual. Best Standard. in show again. <laughs> Custom and paint work. Mm, oh, look. I bet there's more elsewhere, stored away. They yeah, are the secret ones. Thanks very much. No worries. See you soon. Thank you. I've cleaned my lorry. Do you like it, Adam? Ta-da. Yeah, it's very clean. The customer was very pleased with their Noah's Ark airbrushing, by the way. Oh, they were, yeah? They were very pleased. Okay. Oh, we have to do a shout out. Right. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Andrew Sleeman. Andrew Sleeman. Yeah, TPS in Cornwall. TPS in Cornwall. Shout out to you. There we go. We have had a delivery. So I've just washed my lot. I love your RT shots, Adam. Thank you. Level up tight shine for a review. You get, you get three tubs, paintbrush, some gloves. Oh, is it to take bottle the lid opener. Off? That's a bottle opener, isn't it? Yeah, it oh, to take the lid off. Multi loop, multi use. Take the lid off. That's, that's what that's for. Look. So I'm going to try it out. But apparently, according to the destructions, degrease your tyres first. If it's the first time using this product on your tyres, which it is, so. We need to find Darren for some degrees. Darren, Darren, Darren. I've got some fancy tyre dressing, but you need to degrease your tyres first before you put it on. Is that basically degreaser? Yeah. Degreaser. Right, so this is a degreasing this process. This is a degree, de degrease, degree, de degreasing process. Degreasing progress. I'll I'll say it on there. Oh, God. <coughs> I may have let slip to Helen. You might be doing some airbrushing the other day. Oh, really? She wasn't happy. Adam is going to be doing all my airbrushing. Airbrushing? What airbrushing? Have you heard of uh, level up tyre dressing, John? No. Have you used it? Not yet. We're about to. We're prepping. <laughs> Where's he gone? Are you going to do the treads? I'll take that as a no. I had three tints. Huh. The grease with rubber. Let the product dry completely before it. Apply the first layer evenly on the tyres when you finish the last. What? When you finish the last tyre, you return to the tyre you started with and apply a second layer. Yeah, nice. Let the product dry for at least 30 minutes in cooler. Blah, blah, blah. Aha! Nice. Nice. Ooh. Ooh! Some white milk. It could just be semi skim milk. <laughs> yeah. So on the brush, I suppose. Ooh, like this? Yeah, that'll do it, I suppose. I'm just going to slap it on, slap Adam, it now. On. You touch it in. Touch it in. Check the wheels up. I'm missing a tin, though. I had three tins. Boom! Look at that. That's dry now. In my next video, I will give you an update review. But so far, it goes on well. And it looks like it dries quite nicely. Yeah. Yeah, look. Look at that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you, can actually, look. you can actually see my ref Look. Yeah. Wow. They're proper shiny. Should I have worn these? Ah. Hands are burning a little bit. Hello. Ah. They can wash them. Uh, run! Run! 